SRI International is taking telesurgery to new heights with the first ever robotic surgery demonstration in a simulated zero gravity environment. To test this pioneering technology, SRI performed several extreme environment experiments abroad on NASA's C-9 aircraft. The goal? To simulate the microgravity of space and variable gravity of military critical care air transport. The value? Telerobotic capabilities in space may save lives when an injury occurs millions of miles away from Earth. In trauma surgery, people talk about the golden hour, which is that when patients have critical injuries, that uh, you have an hour to intervene in these critical injuries. And, and in that hour, if you don't get those life-saving interventions taken care of, then you lose patients. You can get more interventions in that golden hour without endangering your specialist surgeons uh, and save lives. And I think that's their motivation, is to get more interventions further forward. In collaboration with researchers and surgeons from the University of Cincinnati, SRI tested and compared manual surgical tasks conducted by a human and robot surgeon. Using SRI's compensation software, the robot and human surgeon performed similarly in the test. SRI's compensation software will help eliminate errors in movement that can occur in moments of turbulence and transition in gravity. SRI is also taking robotic surgery to ground zero for remote battlefield surgery and care during patient evacuation and transport. For the Department of Defense, we're applying robotic and communications technologies to telerobotic surgery. The ability to perform operations on patients from a significant distance. We're bringing robots um, right to the front line. So we'll have a telerobotic system that will be able to uh, address a wounded soldier um, and eventually in a small pod, not much larger than the soldier, uh, be able to initiate those stabilizing procedures and get them transported while they're actually being treated by a surgeon who is not at the front line, but rather maybe on a ship offshore or some other facility. Tests have also been conducted in an undersea environment where SRI presented the first demonstration of an image-guided remote surgery. In this NEMO 9 mission, SRI successfully demonstrated the first telerobotic surgery controlled 1,500 miles away from the site. Leading the industry in telepresence surgery, SRI first developed a telerobotic system in the 1980s. As a researcher, uh, the biggest reward is to work on a technology or create a technology that is going to have an impact on somebody's life. And being able to create uh, a prototype even of a technology that might be the blueprint of what the way that healthcare uh, or surgical care might be conducted in the field and the future is, is a great honor and, uh, and, and, and makes us uh, very proud.